Hey everyone, this is Lawrence from financialthing.com. I am coming to you today with a new type of video. I've been talking about doing this video for a while. Uh, it's basically me picking a single stock portfolio out. Just one caveat, this is not designed to be any type of investment advice. This is purely for entertainment fun purposes. Hopefully I won't lose too much of this 5,000 pound investment that I put up. And it's really just for fun, so don't take this too seriously. This is not intended to be any type of investment advice at all. But I wanted to see how a individual share portfolio would stack up to my trusty index tracker fund performance throughout the year. If you've been a reader of the Financial Thing website for a while, or you watch my live streams, you know I'm a huge proponent of index tracker funds because... I think uh, for most investors, having a simple solution of just buying one or two funds through their investment lifetime is the easiest way to stay on track. You don't have to worry about picking out individual stocks and shares. And also it can remove the individual decisions that I think trouble most average investors like myself. You know, for example, if you have a portfolio of 10 shares and you see six of them in the red, and four of them in the green. It's a natural tendency to want to move out of the bad shares into the good ones, and market timing like that is the thing that will cause us to have most losses in our lifetime. I've done it myself. I bought and sold at the wrong time, and I always kick myself a year later when I watch the prices of the shares that I sold rebound or increase or do better than the ones uh, that I originally sold out for. So I still think buying a index equity fund tracker and a bond tracker if you want to hedge some of the risk there is still the way to go and I still use that strategy for the majority of my investing. But for this video, I've gone ahead and this could be very foolishly but I've ponied up 5,000 pounds of my own money to go ahead and pick out individual shares. And what I'm going to do is test this over the next year and see how I can do versus my trusty US index tracker equity fund. So I'm gonna go 100% shares. We're not gonna do any bonds, any fixed income. And the share portfolio that I've picked out is a combination of tips that a very experienced uh, share buyer friend of mine has given me. Also is made up of a few companies that I like myself and that I think have good long-term potential. And also the portfolio will be made up of some share recommendations that have come from a service that I've paid for for one year called The Motley Fool, which is very popular, mostly in America. Uh, they claim that they can absolutely smash the S&P 500 returns by picking out these shares. So I went through their long list of recommendations and I picked out a few that I thought might perform well. I'll likely make some changes in this portfolio as time goes on, but you can go ahead and follow along. So let's get right to it. Originally, when I was going to make this video, I wanted to actually purchase the shares live on screen. But what happened today is September the 25th, 2020. And yesterday on September the 24th, the stock market had a downturn. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to go ahead and buy these stocks at a bit of a discount. And it happened very quickly and I wasn't able to record the transaction process. Uh, so I went ahead and bought the stocks in advance. And when I signed up for the account on Trading212, I didn't really know how much about how the platform works. And what they have here is these two different investment ways to buy things. On the left you can see here are the investments and on the right pies. And if you set up a pie, you can have it work more like an auto investment product. So all of your dividends get reinvested as you allocate them into a pie. If you are using the website application on your computer, you cannot import existing shares that you own into pies. So if you already purchased the shares like I did and didn't create a pie to purchase them within, you cannot move those existing shares into the pie. Hopefully they will update that user functionality, but for now you have to do that through the phone app. I've created a separate video that shows you how to use the pies, how to create new pies, how to move existing shares into a pie that you own, and how to take shares out of them. So click on the link in the description below to watch that 
detail tutorial using the phone app. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did in my investment portfolio. And then I'm actually gonna deposit a bit more money and set up a pie here to use in the future. So what did I buy inside of this portfolio? I'll go ahead and just run through everything with you. Uh, the portfolio, yes, again, again was about a little bit over 5,000 pounds. They had given me a free share for signing up, which by the way, you can get to if you look in the link below and you want to sign up for a Trading212 account, support this channel and support financial thing, go ahead and do that. You'll get yourself a free share. You can see the portfolio is up a little bit today because I did buy yesterday during a downturn. I got lucky with the timing. I you know, could have continued to go down today, but it didn't. So these are the shares that I bought. AbbVie is a company that's a bio pharmaceutical company that is a very, very big dividend play. A lot of people in the US use this as a dividend stock. Um, it pays out a very, very nice dividend yield of 5.24%. And this is one of the main reasons I went ahead and bought this uh, share. It also has a very low price to earnings ratio of 15.65. Went ahead and bought a little bit of Alphabet, uh, which is quite expensive. Right now, the average price you can see here is about uh, 1,400 pounds. So I went ahead and just bought fractional shares, which is a really great thing you can do on trading 212. You can buy pieces of, of shares. Now you don't have to put your whole uh, sh one share amount in, which is good because that would have eaten up uh, quite a lot, almost a fifth of my entire investment allocation, which I wouldn't have done anyway. So I went ahead and bought a little bit of, of Alphabet, which is Google. Alteryx is a software company. This one came from a tip from a friend of mine who he's very experienced banking guy. And um, this is a sort of play, I think, for the long term. They have a very high price to earnings ratio of 183.1. Uh, again, tech stock, which I have high hopes for. We went ahead and bought the old trusty Apple yesterday. Pays a small dividend yield of 0.77%. Managed to buy it on discount yesterday. Um, really needs no explanation. DocuSign, this is a company that uh, and enables you to sign contracts and, and PDFs digitally. They, they're a big player in the US industry. This one came from the stock picking recommendation, which I'll go ahead and show you. This is the Motley Fool Rule Breakers that I signed up for. It cost about uh, 70 pounds for the year, and they go ahead and make these recommendations. So DocuSign was one of their recommendations that I quite like the company. Another company that I bought from the stock picking list was Etsy. I think Etsy is a pretty solid company. I've used them myself. So I picked up a couple of shares of Etsy. Then next is Fastly. Again, this was a real-time content delivery network company in the tech field. I, I've seen this uh, stock has been very volatile, but I think this one could be one over the next year that does really well. I picked it up on a bit of a discount, a couple of shares of that. Now here's my little bit of a dark horse play right here, Lloyds Bank. Um, the selling price is just so low right now. I, I think I bought it about 25p yesterday. It's already down about 0.78%, but they pay a great dividend of 4.4%. Again, I think that Lloyds will rebound eventually, but who knows? I don't have the crystal ball. The one that I have doesn't actually work, but we'll see if my uh, thinking was correct on that. Again, this one came from the stock picking service. This is an extra energy. It's a company of electrical power companies in North America. I like to have a little bit of energy. It pays a 2.03% dividend. So you get, you get some of that there. And I just picked up one share of that. 1.3 shares of Salesforce. This again is from the stock picking Motley Fool service. No dividend on this one. Again, this is just going to be a play for growth. CN Limited. This is a Asian based company that um, internet platform provider. There's been a huge gain on this share in the last year. It's done really well and uh, this is a company that I personally like. It doesn't pay a dividend. It's a purely a growth play. Uh, again, no crystal ball on how they'll do, but we'll see. And I got Shopify. I think uh, this is a, again, comes from the stock picking service. 
no dividend yield. Again, pure growth play. I like Shopify. I think that there's a lot of people that are using that platform to sell things and they're going to continue to grow. Then we got the old faithful Tesla here, the volatile stock of the century. Um, picked up just three shares of that. I have made a prediction that I think it will be $500 per share in a year. I've made a little bit since yesterday, as you can see, it's gone up 6%, but that doesn't mean anything with Tesla shares. I mean, this could quite easily drop by 20% tomorrow. And then last but not least, we have Trade Desk. Again, this came from the Motley Fool advertising list right here, Trade Desk. Um, you can see here it uh, enables clients to purchase and manage digital advertising campaigns across different platforms. Yeah, again, another another growth play, no dividend on that one, but one of a company that I've kind of had my eye on, I think will do pretty well in the next year. There is one other stock that I do want to buy through here, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in a pie. And that is actually AT&T. So why did I choose the AT&T stock? Well, AT&T makes up nearly every dividend investor's portfolio because of the dividend yield is so large. Right now, it is paying 7.19%. And they've consistently increased their dividend payouts over a period of 36 years. I think it's increased. And they have a very low price to earnings ratio of 127 I don't see this stock really increasing in price too much because of the dividend payout. You know, we're at about $27 today. If that share were to hit $29 or $30, I think that's what you could expect. But it's on sale today, and right now it is 8.15 in the UK, but the US stock markets are still open today on Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the AT&T stock in the pie here, which I'll go ahead. I went ahead and deposited another 400 pounds into this account so I could buy some AT&T shares in the pie. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Under your regular portfolio page, you can see here on the right, this says pies. I currently have one set up, which is called my main pie. And holdings in it doesn't have anything right now. I set up this Etsy holding but I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of here and add the AT&T stock in here so let's go ahead and delete that I'm going to add an instrument you can add whatever you want but here is the AT&T stock bingo so let's go ahead and add that I'm going to put the target of 100% right now because that's what we have in there. And let's go ahead and invest in the AT&T. So I've got 402 pounds. Confirm buy. Done. There we go. Now inside this pie, we have the AT&T shares by themselves. So you can see here on the overview here, I have dividend auto reinvest on. So that pie will get all of the dividends reinvested into the AT&T shares. And what I'll do also, when they do an update, you're going to be able to add your initial investments that you already have into the pie. So I'm going to wait to do that. And eventually I'll have everything in this pie and it will just go straight into auto investing. That's pretty much how it works. So you can buy all types of different shares and stocks through here. But that's my portfolio right now sitting at 5,558 pounds and 8p. We will see how it does in the next year and uh, i'll be posting video updates on this in the future and hopefully we'll have some good results thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video i'll be making more and i appreciate you watching and see you next time